My name is Chris Denner, uh, photographer. We're in my studio based at the LCV Depot in Leicester. I first got into photography when I was about sort of 19. I went to college, I studied, admittedly I was a little bit later than most of the other students, but got there in the end. And when I was at college, I won an international award. The competition was by a massive camera company called Agfa, and I was um, Young Creative Photographer of the Year, which was just a fantastic title. Uh, I went to Belgium, uh, where the headquarters of, the, uh, of Agfa was. And every country in the world had a, um, had a winner and then we had a kind of like a face off, a showdown if you will of international talent where I was, I won and I was actually crowned Platinum Award which was fantastic which um, really kick started my international career. It's where you are interacting with the camera so you're going to be... And it's just kind of snowballed from there really. The kind of work I really enjoy shooting is the things we're doing today, working with people like our man and just, just, just doing really creative stuff. The idea we've got today is basically inspired by the work of Benedict Campbell, photographer based in the UK, that I admire. Um, very, very innovative photographer. And I'm really inspired by his series of images that he did regarding uh, robots. So we've taken that idea, and with me and our man who work together quite regularly, we've taken that on our level. Our kind of style is very dark, it's very menacing, so we've took that robot feel and made it quite heavy. Um, the kind of st work that we produce, I've actually coined the phrase of murder pop that it's quite dark, it's quite heavy, but it's got these real pop elements of, of fashion and, and mixed media and counterculture. You know, there's no reflection of the light back in anybody's eyes. So they look dead. They look so dead. I love that we have an idea and it just goes naturally. The idea you know, leads itself to something completely different, something we would never have Mm, nothing. The ultimate aim for what we're doing today is um, I'm publishing my first book, hopefully by the end of the year, uh, which is tentatively entitled Murder Pop. I'd say with the tears, when you've got the tears on there coming down, it's just going to be an absolute killer shot. I want 30 completely different ideas, so I'm really challenging myself to push my own creativity forward. So this book is as much about me getting something out of it as hopefully people looking at the book and thinking, right, oh, brilliant, that's a good idea, or oh, that's how that idea evolved. And trying to give ownership of creativity back to certain people, and trying to say it's not really just about the camera you use, and the lens you use, and the lighting equipment. You don't need access to a studio, you just need to have an idea and some drive.